Hi troops, welcome, 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 welcome. So <clears throat> let's see what the week looks like, okay? We're just going into August 5th, 2019. Let's see what we're looking at. Okay. What are we looking at currently going into August 5th, 2019? What are we looking at this week? What are we looking at? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups and the Four of Cups reversed, okay? Together, Six of Cups. Um, I normally don't read them like that. I think there is definitely, you know, a connection. Um, let's see what the rat is looking at. But I don't know if you feel like something's not coming together or this relationship that you're already in or whatever situation this is. There's something, I don't know if it's postponed, you're not talking about something, if you feel something's not going to come back around, there's definitely, you know, something. <clears throat> and we have the Nine of Pence. Okay, so confidence is the first thing that's absolutely coming to me. Um, I don't know if it's linked to work or not. Um, it's almost like a nest. Whatever's going down this week right off the bat has to do with a partnership. Two people, if not more, but Two of Cups was the first thing out. I mean, when's the last time that's that's came out first thing, right? So there's something, some type of connection. Confidence is most definitely needed. Um, <clears throat> that Mary J just came to me. It's going down. Mm -hmm, upside down. I don't, I don't know if the Son of Pants is, is having a hard time. The Nine of Pants was upright, so it's like they have confidence. Let me grab four more. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Son of Cups. There might be a new start with money, too. But now we have the Son of Cups and the Ten of Pence. Okay, so it might also be a work connection, you know, um, a boss. But if you ask me, this is somebody who's got feelings, or this is you and your energy, and it's good feelings, and you're going towards stability... I mean, look at the color shining from the cup. Look at the pence, right? When the sun or king or knight or princess or page or pet, anything like that, queen, right, is is normally linked to work with the with the money being here. I'm trying to incorporate work too. You could be in a relationship with someone you work with. Um, to me, I think there's a new. I feel like this is a, a new soulmate, whether it's love or work, and you guys are just going to click. And again, that can just be with a boss, right? It doesn't have to be with a lover per se, and it's going to make you extremely happy. Two more. Two more for this week, please. Something's going to go down. But that song with Mary J is like, it's going down. So the high priestess reversed. You could be done with the Pisces. To me, it's like not using your intuition, not being, or this is unknown. Could it be a secret coming out when it comes to money or lack of confidence or 
cockiness. It really just depends when I clarify. Let's see one more, please. One more. Okay, and we have the Seven of Cups reversed. So you will come out of confusion. So we have an energy that's a little bit confused. It's definitely coming out of confusion. I don't think it's linked to secrets. I just think I think you're using your intuition. I, I think it's just something's going to be revealed. And it might be linked to money. And for others, when it's regarding love, it's linked to confidence. If it's regarding a financial situation, it's linked to, to work. This to me is like a straight up, it's got to be a soulmate. Tell me about the two of cups, please. Got the seven of swords. It's almost like the weekend energy where your best advice was the seven of swords with that connection. It's almost like the same thing. I don't think it's deception. It's more than just a conversation. It's... It's kind of like manipulating a, situa a situation, and I don't know what that's regarding. But it would be like manipulation in a good way. You know, like how you use your ego in a good way. Most of the time, people don't use it the right way, right? Not necessarily. But it's... I, I don't know if this particular person... Hold on. I mean, it's a connection. I think the soulmate's coming in to manipulate a situation. It certainly looks that way. I don't know if this is like a whole bunch of bullshit in your ear you know like that song pragmat came to me i'm kicking new flavor in your ear mad flavor in your ear right something like that some of the four cups something's just it's almost like oh you know with the nine of cups in the tower so it, it's like right back to the contradicting energy like some will be okay and others it's iffy right so it's like because at the bottom of the deck is the tower. I think it's going to make you happy. But is it worth it? If you ask me, I don't, you know, for some of you, it's, it's not going to be worth it. You know, it's like, the, look at a ton of swords. It's like not healing from us like something for some of you is, is not worth it tell me about the nine of pence here others of you is you know it just got tricky on us again so <clears throat> tell me about the nine of pence please with the daughter of pence reversed so i don't know if it's like look at it, it's like they know each other but like it's if you ask me <clears throat> it's not lack of confidence she's very confident the nine of pence is upright she's if you ask me she's not going to put effort into this she just won't it, it's almost like being smart enough to know that there's something happening here 
it's like see it's like you're already healed from a situation it's like you have a new stat somewhere tell me about the son of pence and it's like if this person comes in with all like kicking shit in your ear right like I'm um, kicking new flavor in the yeah like it's like they're staring right at money something's gonna be exposed so once again, it's one of those weeks where you got to be smart about whomever's coming back around. So tell me about this Son of Pence. I, I feel like um, <clears throat> this Son of Pence is a soulmate. There could be a Libra, right? But they're going to try to come in and balance out the scales. Or this is the universe balancing out the scales. Um, and I was just saying I feel a soulmate with that and that... That's exactly what that is, but it's linked. It's linked to that. I'll be done soon. Um, huh? That was a different meeting. Thank you, though. So it is linked to a soulmate. It's almost like... It's like they're looking for justice. They're looking to balance out the scales. I don't know if it's my women feeling like manipulated or they're just not going to to deal with whatever this is, right? Karmically, it's like this person's I don't I look it looks like they might be manipulating the situation, telling you everything you want to hear. Some of you are going to be okay. Others of you, it's once again, it's up in the air. It's linked to a past life too, so it's strong. So I don't know if they're going to come in with bullshit. Like, we have this connection. Yada, yada, yada. I got these feelings for you. You make me better. You balance. You make, baby girl, you make me better. You make me better. Like it's, But it's like bullshit to me, if you ask me. You see that they're looking at money. Or you're their stability, right? So tell me about the Son of Cups. So it's like, I'm kicking new flavor in your ear. I'm telling you, there's something, something linked there. Once again. So this, this energy is still lingering. Some of you dealt with it over the weekend. Some of you have not yet, yet dealt with it. And you got the fool. So see, it's like, it's like a little baby fool, the son of cups, wanting to come in, have a fresh start, want to ground the situation, like I said. They're going to tell you, I want to put effort into this. They're going to give you some type of clarity. Looks like the feminine might be over emotional. Like, I, You know, it, once again, tell me about the ten of pence. It's, it's truly, you, you better be on top of that in the chariot. So it's like, they either want something to move forward. Or it's just going to stop moving forward. Or the money is going to stop moving forward. At the bottom of the deck was the Ace of Wands. To me, it, it's you're going to be smart enough here. Tell me about the High Priestess. Your gut will tell you something's off. Because this is not... The High Priestess does not have lack of confidence. The Daughter of Pence could, but there's no way because that was upright. So that's being confident. That's money. That's a new adventure and money too. So it's almost like she might she might turn someone down, but at the same time, it's it's part of a past life thing. So I don't know if this is just you being like, no freaking way. You know, once again, back to the whole seven of swords energy. So <clears throat> hold on. It's like sneaky energy, you know? <sighs> let me let Lucy out. Let me let Lucy out.
you know, could talk about deception, betrayal, you know, trying to get away with some something. It, it's, it's almost like someone coming in and being very strategic about something. You know, it's, it's the only thing I can really, like, put my finger on and, and how it's being, like, placed for me, you know? So it's like, I don't know if they're just going to come in and, and, and tell you about it. Or if they're going to come in and try to actually manipulate. I think they're going to come in and, for a majority of you and try to be honest, guys. But I think you're going to hear about all everything that went down. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, right? It's just... Maybe there's a, a Cancer or a Pisces and, you, and you're not you or an Aries just not using your intuition when it comes to this because you're just focused on this. You guys are going to have to talk and figure that out. Tell me about the High Priestess. And it's the Ten of Cups, but I can't tell if it was reversed or not. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands again. Hold on. I'm assuming, you know, with the Nine of Cups being upright, they would want the Ten of Cups upright, right? right? But it's like, use your intuition here. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. You're going to come out of confusion, though. Like, for some of you, it's karmic justice, and the scales will be balanced, and it, it can be okay. Tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse, please. You're definitely going to come out of confusion. This person coming at you, I think, is like, am I going to get another chance or not? Well, I guess it just depends on what went down between you guys, right? And it's the Son of Swords. So it's, it's someone that's kind of been watching. It's also that New Age communication. Tell me about the Seven of... Oh, and your, and your best advice was the justice in these two sevens over the weekend. Tell me about the seven of swords, please. It's the lovers. So you're going to have to make a decision. Can you move forward? Can you do it together? This is a connection that's already kind of together, even though it's not together. See what I'm saying? They're not flying in opposite directions. It's almost like... You guys are going to have to make this decision together. It doesn't need to be rushed. I'm just kind of giving you a heads up uh, on what's going down. Looks like somebody might be sad. Looks like someone's not around. <clears throat> Tell me about the Son of Swords. But you do have the Son of Swords, cups, the Son of Cups, and the Son of Pence. So it's like, whoa. Tell me about the Son of Swords, please. I don't know if there's multiple people here. Ace of Wands, so it's in, in that tower. It's the same combo. <laughs> same exact combo again until you make a decision. Some of you are going to be extremely guarded. I don't blame you. So, looks like that's, that's still here. It's still presented. So, let's... Let me just... Um, for your best advice, best direction for you with this. Best advice, best direction. It's a high priestess. It's, it's up to you. It's up to you guys. Use your intuition, right? Um, Looks like stuff, you're going to have a conversation, stuff's going to be exposed. What else? You're, you're definitely not playing ball, okay? You're, there's no joking around. It's almost like balls in your court. Like, no one's getting to that ball unless you allow it. But once again, use your intuition when it comes to whatever decision this is. And then you got the father of pence reversed. And it's like, like I said, it's kind of like that sad energy... Devil's right here too. Lots of that Capricorn energy. Then the Father of Swords is right there too. So you could be dealing with a, a Capricorn, a Gemini, a Pisces. It could just be strong placements within their chart. Um, 
this was reversed so it's almost like it's like sneakily looking at each other right it's it's like you know who you are I don't know if they feel like they won't get a second shot or a third shot or a fifth I, I don't know whatever your story is Or they feel like you're not gonna put effort into it but this was this was just your best advice so now Lucy wants to come in see back and forth back and forth so this is you ask me come on this is this is someone you know this is not the first on and off on and off situation with this person it certainly looks that way to me you know um, so you got to use your intuition when it comes to making this decision. Really think about it, right? Think about whether or not you're going to put effort into it or, or, or turn your back. You know, like, it's, it's on you. It's, this, this person's here. I think that's why it's reversed because you're looking at each other, right? Sometimes they place the cards in reversals just so you can get that that peak. So <clears throat> it looks like the Father of Pens is gonna put effort into it, and together, you guys are most definitely gonna need to make a decision. Okay, so let's look at if uh, finances real quick. Does that look like that was way more linked to a romantic aspect of things? What's going on financially this week? Starting August 5th. It didn't come out, trips. Snapped, but didn't come out. So you got the seven of wands with the three of cups, so it looks like keep fighting for whatever this is. The moon at the bottom of the deck. There's still something unknown going on financially with you guys. You are out of a cocoon. You are ready to fly. This looks like good times. This looks like celebration. You know, um, are you kidding me with this up and down with Lucy? You can stay out here. Had enough. Go. Um, so it's, it's like you're not fighting off anything. It's like you're a beautiful greenish blue teal butterfly going right towards flying right towards happiness okay um financially so it's some type of celebration i don't know if you think something is a, a lose lose here um if you think so what this is telling me is I, I think you think there's something that's not coming in but there is something that's on its way but when it comes financially right so get out of this because it's already telling you you're going to celebrate so someone's in negative energy when it comes to their finances worried right because i don't see that as a lose-lose the only way i would see that is if it's like you're arguing with the boss you got to stand your ground or you got to present something it's gonna go well but the thoughts are like ah, you know it could be something like that <clears throat> Financially, please, financially. What is going on? Or well, you think it's going to be a lose-lose and you don't want to take a position, right? But you're going to get, you're going to get clarity. You got the sun, you know, so it's, so, there is some type of growth. It would be, if this was such a negative card right now, this would be reversed. So I think this is somebody's energy of just like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Tell me about the five of swords. Let's just clarify it. And you got the world, right? So something's coming to the end for something to to open another door shut. Okay, so all that negativity, whatever it is, is is shutting. Okay, and you're going straight to the sun, which is absolutely fantastic. Tell me about the seven of wands. If you gotta continue to fight people off, right? That's too many. If you gotta continue seven on ones to fight people off, um, do it gracefully. If there's a work situation, just continue to be great graceful. Okay. Too many are coming out. Seven of Wands, please.
Look at that. Again, too many. It's like, wow. Seven of Wands. Something's linked to past life, too. All right, and you got the star, so... Looks like something destined and faded, if you ask me, especially with the star, the sun, and the world. That's To me, that's not speaking of an Aquarius. Because underneath, you got the sun of wands, so it's definitely not speaking of an Aquarian to me. Um, but keep the faith. I, I think what's happening is you're worried. You think it's a lose-lose, right? It's just something that's just not coming into fruition, but it's, it's coming, okay? So... I'm going to pull you one card regarding finances. Best advice regarding finances. I think it's something linked to something where it's, there's going to be hesitation or you're like, what? It's one of those again. So it's like starting to reappear, right? So your best advice for when it comes to the finances, please. That two flipped out. That was the second one. Ten of pens. <laughs> Seven of wands. Stay strong, especially when it's guarding this. Looks like you're about to to deal, create something. But that's that's your best advice, you know. Staying, standing strong, executing something, and it, it's definitely linked to work. Okay, he was at the bottom of the deck, but this is definitely um, executing what needs to be executed um I'm trying to think something just came to me because it, it, it's not really it, it is like a, a fighting thing right but not like it's like standing your ground um because normally a man on a hill but now it's a butterfly like there's been such growth there's no need to fight type energy right um so to me it's just striving okay there's some type of to me it's like you have some type of upper hand with a demanding situation type thing, if I was gonna read it that way, with like this this deck of cards, it just seems it just seems like there's something challenging coming your way. But just remain with who you are, because you're this beautiful butterfly, going towards stability. Or you already have this, but it's it's within your finances, it's within your work, right? Just continue to be who you are. Stay disciplined, stay grounded, stay focused. Don't let other energies get the best of you. You're not fighting anyone off. Right now, you're just kind of floating above trying to figure out how do I how do I get in there without ruining my, my feathers. My, you know what I mean? Like, just stay strong it is what this is definitely saying to me. You're definitely going to execute something, and, and when you do, I mean, it's a ton of pence, right? So, it looks good to me. It's like you're striving to to get the upper hand, but just, just continue to stay. Tell me about the seven of wands. Happy, you know, positive. Tell me about the seven of wands. Somebody could be even watching your work right now. That's again way too many, but it was the Queen of Pents, and so I didn't see the other ones. All right, tell me, and it was the Daughter of Cups that just flew out, but it's telling me to grab another one. Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands. So it's like the same cards that are coming out. Seven of Wands. Just stay, stay strong, because you go to the Eight of Wands next, right? Like it's coming. I feel like someone's watching you, but like work related, like going over your portfolio, looking into your information. It's, there's something like that happening. Seven of Wands, please. It looks good, though. You got the strength with the Three of Wands. It has to do with your future. Why you need strength? I don't know. You could be dealing with a Leo, but that's what I'm saying. Like a little bit of a uphill battle, but you're going to be fine because whatever it is is leading to stability. So your best advice is just to remain as positive as you can. Here comes your future. Okay. 
Here comes the sun. All right. I love you guys. Have a fantastic week. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.